Hi, this is Jim from StarryHope.com. As you might have heard, Google recently announced that they're going to be adding the ability to install Android apps from the Google Play Store right onto your Chromebook. Today, Google released the first preview of this technology to the Asus Chromebook Flip. I had a chance to play around with it a little bit, and I'd like to give you a tour and a quick preview of how things are looking in this very early version of Android apps on the Chromebook. For now, if you'd like to try this out, you'll have to be using the developer channel on the Chromebook Flip. To enable the development channel, you'll want to open the settings and click on About Chrome OS. Then you'll want to click More Info and Change Channel. From here, you can pick Developer Channel or the Unstable Channel. Click Change Channel and it will go out and download the latest Dev Channel version. After that installs, all you need to do is restart your computer and you should be able to run Android apps on your Chromebook. To enable those Android apps, you'll want to go back to your settings and find the checkbox that says Enable Android Apps to Run in Your Chromebook. Then you can click on App Settings. This will show you an end user license agreement. It's pretty boring, so I'm not sure if you want to read it or not, but go ahead and click Agree. Then it will ask you to sign in with your Gmail account. After a few minutes, you'll be asked to agree to the Google Play Terms of Service once again. And then the Google Play Store should open up right here on your Chromebook. Let's make it go full screen. Click on Apps. And you can see almost all of the Android apps available to install on your Chromebook. For example, let's search for Skype. That's one application that I'm really looking forward to using on my Chromebook. Simply click Install. It tells us that um, Android's going to ask us for permissions later as the application runs. We'll click OK on that and wait for it to install. Once it's installed, we can click the Open button, and Skype launches just like it would on an Android tablet. Once you enter your login information, you can sign in, and this is when it starts asking you for permissions. So do you want to let it access the video and the audio, and your, manage your phone calls, and access your media files, and allow it to access your contacts? From here, Skype pretty much works like it would on any Android phone or tablet. Another application I'm looking forward to using on my Chromebook is Pocket Casts. I enjoy listening to podcasts on my Android smartphone, and I would like to be able to listen to them on my Chromebook as well. And while I can do that on their website, it would be nice to be able to download some of the podcasts to my Chromebook and take them with me. Action Show is created by Jupiter Broadcasting. Welcome to Linux Action Show episode 421. My name is Chris. My name is Noah. Hello, Noah, and happy 10th anniversary to you. Sir. Some people have asked if you'll be able to play Minecraft Pocket Edition on your Chromebook. And it looks like you will be able to eventually, but right now it doesn't seem to be working quite right. In fact, the game doesn't actually even launch. Other people have asked if you'll be able to use the Apple Music app on your Chromebook. And as of right now, when you try to install the app, it says this device isn't compatible with this version. This might be something that Apple fixes in the future. One app that does work is the Spotify app. It works pretty much the same as you would expect on an Android tablet or smartphone. In fact, you can continue using it while you do something else. Like, for example, continue playing music while you're working on a Word document. Another app that works really well is the Google Play Music app. It also lets you play music in the background, and do pretty much everything you can do on the phone. 
One of the great advantages to using this over simply using the Google Play Music website is that you can download music to the device and listen to it offline. This app is also a good example of the different modes available in Android apps on Chrome OS. For example, you can have it in the landscape mode, which is more like a tablet mode, or you can have it look more like it would on your telephone if you put it into portrait mode. Of course, the ability to use the Microsoft Office Suite, or at least the Android version of the Microsoft Office Suite, on your Chromebook is probably one of the biggest features of this new ability to run Android apps on a Chromebook. So you can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, OneNote, and even Outlook, which works pretty well. Um, not that I would really use it, but um, if you need Outlook, it works pretty well on Android and on the Chromebook. Last but not least, I'm glad to tell you that all of you Firefox fans can now run the Android version of Firefox on Chrome OS. That's right, you can run Firefox on Chrome. If you're looking for a Chromebook that is compatible currently with Android apps or is going to be in the future, be sure to head over to starryhope.com and check out our Chromebook comparison tool. I've added a new feature that allows you to filter for any, any Chromebooks that have Android apps available now or will have Android apps available in the future. And you can just click on those and compare all the different features of those Chromebooks and try and find the one that fits your needs the best. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment below if there's something specific that you'd like to know about Android apps on the Chromebook.